Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our lesson number four, Sum If, Count If is our topic, or our topic. So I hope you will uh, learn a lot from this video. So this is, uh, again, a series of our lessons, video lessons for Advanced Excel. Uh, so let's start by by me sharing your our PowerPoint. Okay, so uh, the PowerPoint and the sample Excel file is already uploaded in your Moodle. So please try to download it and try to go along once you you're watching this video. So again, the functions that we're going to discuss is count if, sum if, and average if. So what is a count if? Count if is when you're trying to count the number of times you have a name, a date, a value in a list. Okay, so the number of occurrence in a given list. So if you want to count how many times it appeared, so let's say you're counting the word boy, how many times it appeared on the list, how many times uh, the word female on that list. Okay, so the number of occurrence you're counting, you're counting the number of occurrence. So that's why if, because there's a condition. Condition is, uh what are you looking for what are you counting okay so the next function is sum if so this function is uh works similarly as count if but now you're going to add a corresponding value you're going to add uh, a value behind that for example all uh canned goods product they have a price like 20 reals each Okay, so you're summing all the amount, okay, of the canned goods. So at the result, it's an, a sum or it's a, uh, yeah, it's the total number of our uh, values that you added. Okay, so that's what sum if is. So average if will be the same as sum if, uh, except that the function at the first or the beginning is average. So meaning sum is adding, average is as its name implies or as its name means average. You're getting to add and then divide by the number of times it occurred. So that's those are the three functions basically of our uh, uh, of our topic in lesson number four. So just again. References will be here at the end of the slides. Uh, let's just go back to the first count if you're counting how many times it appeared. Sum if you're adding the value that, that corresponds to that. Okay, so you will have uh, a range, okay, a range from that list where all the values are corresponding to what product or what item or what data okay then since there are a lot of uh, items in this list and you want to add only the prices of the canned goods for example the one that i gave you earlier then he will select the prices of that and he will add that value so the sum okay is our uh the summation okay is our result to that function and then of course average if average if we're not going to focus on this we're just going to uh, give you count if and sum if since average is if is just uh, a matter of averaging the values okay from that list that initially if you do use sum if it will be summed or it will be added but if you use averages it will be average okay so that's uh and this uh, PowerPoint and I'm back. Let's go back to our 
let's share the sample Excel, which is already uploaded, as I've told you. Where's my sample Excel file? Okay. So I hope you are seeing it right now. So this is our example for lesson number four. So we have here a list. Okay, column A is order number, column B is date, column C is driver's name, column D is item, column E is number of items, transport, and destination. So if we're going to just go down, scroll down, there is some task that we need to answer, okay, for this example, okay? So for example, number one is number of orders in Boston. Number of orders in Boston. Let's go back to our, okay. So the question is count if, okay, how many have been ordered from Boston? So of course, Boston is in the destination column. So that's why we're just going to see here in column G, that's where the places are. Okay, so the question is, how many number of orders have been made in Boston or from Boston? So that's what we're going to count. Now, if you have a small, um, sample size, sorry for that. Uh, if you have sample or small uh, table, then it's going to be easier if you're just going to filter that. Okay, so filter and then filter Boston. Then count one, two, three, four. You can see also here four out of 24 records. Okay, so this is where you're going to see that. But if we have a longer list and if we want to do this uh, automatically, then you have to use a function. So how do we do this? Let's have equal sign since it is a function. If you are still beginning, you can click function of X here and look for that function count if. Okay, go and then double click this one and you will have arguments. Okay, arguments are the data that you have to present. Range is where are you going to count that criteria? So our criteria simply is Boston. So remember it's wrong spelling wrong. So whatever you type here, it must be correct. Otherwise you cannot find it from the list if you have made a mistake here. So that simply explains a uh, common error for students that they will get a result. Teacher, I have only zero as the result or most of the time it should not be zero most of the time, but of course sometimes it's zero. Uh, but that's gonna be a question for you if your result is zero and then from the list you can see clearly that there is a bust on there. So uh, range now will be the, the area or the list, the part of the list where you're going to uh, count when it's the Boston. So it's G2 to G25. So if you're going to repeat what I did, I just click on the range, this one, text box and highlight. Okay, those lists. If it is very long, you just need to use G2 until G25, okay, colon. If it is arranged from G2 to G25, this is how you're going to write it. Press OK, and the answer is 4. Okay, true enough, the one that we filtered earlier. Okay, so that's how you do it if you're going to use the function of X, F of X here. Uh, you can also go here, uh, the one we use in the auto function. There is more functions. It will also bring you to that. Uh, function arguments uh, or function window. So let's go back, clear, uh, click more functions and you can see your insert function. You, you can use most recently use or click all and then all these functions will be available here and then you can 
type of brief description. That's why, as I told you in Excel, uh, it's going to be easy because there's a help button. Okay, it's always going to help. Me. So if you are looking for something, you can type a brief description and maybe he will show you the correct uh, function here. Uh, I apologize if you can if you didn't uh, have the chance to see it previously. So our recording tool, Microsoft Teams cannot record it. So once you click the F of X, so this this side, okay, then uh, you will go to the window where you will select uh, insert function window. And then once you selected the insert function window, then the function arguments window will come out or pop out. So in, in, in this case, the count if your arguments is range and criteria. So the range is the list from a cell to another cell where you will find your criterion. Criterion is the singular, by the way, of criteria. So if you have only one criterion, so you you uh, pronounce it criterion. If it is plural, more than one, it's going to be criteria. So this is where you're going to write that. And yeah, so for our example, G2 to G25 is the column or the list where we're going to find the criterion Boston. And then after that, you press OK, then the result will come out. Thank you. OK, so me, I am hardcore. I'm used to programming, so that's why I'm going to start with equal sign, count if, I'm going to type. And then you can see here, it's the same. I'm going to have the arguments. So range is G2, column G25. OK, let me just make it bigger. So you're going to see the. OK, and then the criteria is Boston. But if you're typing it, you have to start with the double quotation mark. Here. OK, it is just left side of your enter key. OK, so this is it. So let's count it. It's going to give you the, the same result. So I'm going to come back with our next uh, next lectures or lessons. Uh, watch out for the next video. OK, so see you on the next video. All the best.